Hello everyone. Welcome to the best academy once again. I'm super excited to receive you guys back to class. On uh, uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, another important topic in Mount uh, Mantis. So uh, today we'll be looking at Lovely Day and we have uh, our rules here that we're going to be following. Now we have rules of Lovely Day and we have rules of this class. Number one reason to ensure that you subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so and you must and must concentrate for your own good. You know, to this, don't distract yourself by any means because for you to get the full details of everything I'm going to be teaching today, you must not distract yourself. I'm going to try my possible best to explain everything, the list, and uh, I'm going to simplify everything for you guys. So please ensure you subscribe. Click on that subscription button and also turn on your notification bell uh, for more uh, super videos from this uh, class. So let's go to what we have uh, today. We are looking at log reading. And what is the meaning of log reading? The log reading of a number is the uh, power to which uh, uh, the base must be raised in order to get that number. For example, uh, this symbol or this uh, abbreviation is log reading. It's called log. Now you got the log reading of a number, let's say uh, 9. The particular base, let's say big three, is the power to which this base must be raised in order to get this number, which is 9. If I ask you, is log? Uh, 9 to. Now, this one is not the log, this 9 is not the log. Why this is this not the base? For example, if you look at this, this S is not the log, then the A is the base of the log. So this is log X to base A. That's how to pronounce it. This is log 9 to base 3. That's what is the object to be stealing from the definition. The double of the capital number is the power to which the base will be raised in order to get that number. So, what am I going to raise this base to? I'll give it 9. So, if I raise 3 to the power of 2, so the power to which this base will be raised to get 9 is 2. So, that is an answer to this problem. So, log 9 to the 3 will be equal to 2. Why is it equal to 2? Because it is 2. We we'll raise this 3 to 2. We have that 9. So we have 2 raised power 3. Okay, but if I have 2 raised power 2, we don't have this line here. So we got the, the power of this base. The power I'm going to raise this base to, to get 9 is 2. So the answer to this will be equal to. So that is from the definition. Now we can also get the answer from analysis. From analysis like what we have here now. We also have the right using this rule. So below, this you can see here are the rules used in logarithm. So you can see them. So let me explain them one after the other. Now the first one is. You have log x to base a. You check all the bases are the same. Two bases will be the same thing. Log x plus log y will be equal to log x times y. For example, log uh, 3 plus log 2 will be equal to log 3 times 2. The bases will be the same. That is the first thing. You must, you must think about that. Then if I have log x minus log y, I'm going to have log x divided by y. So that you have log x divided by y, or well, this division will be the same. So Log log s, then I buy six empty. Then you have log uh, f a is for s to base b. I have log a is for s to base b. The answer will be s log a to base b. This s is going to be back to the log. So you see that you are in this way. What if I have uh, this power to be on this base b? Now so let's have log a to be this power x. Move this power to the back when you take the inverse of that same power. Or we can bring the power to the mean is a. I don't know if this part of mean is a yet, but you take the inverse, the inverse of this part. I have from a is power 1 over x to be b. That's how uh, we will have this. Let's say, for example, let's say I have log f, c to be 2 is power x. So I will be log 2 is power 1 over x to be b. That's what I'm going to say. Or I'm going to say 1 over x log 3 to be b. Is that possible? That is. This we are seeing there. Then you have log A to base B. You also call it log A over log B. Log A, first you have log uh, 7 to base 2. You also call it or log uh, 5 to base 2. You also call it log 5 over log 2. It's possible. Now, if you, 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 you solve log 5 over log 2, you have to have the equivalent answer. So this is log 5 
to be two. So that is also valid. Then, if you have log of a number to the same base, log a to this a, the answer is going to be one. So take note of that. If you have log one to any base at all, the answer will be zero. Then if you have log a to base s, and you want this x to be in this uh, log and the log to be in base, want to just interchange the log and the base. Just take the inverse of everything until we take the uh, interchange. This x will go to the log, it will go to the base. You have to like this. Then we have the app log a to base m times log m to base c, which is this base and this log and c. So you have to call this one log a to be c. So it's not possible that way. Then we have the app log a to power log x. Now a is power log x to be c, which is base and this base of the log and c. The answer can be x. Some of one log. So let's ask questions using this rule. Now let's ask this first question one. So what is the value of log? The question just says, if I follow you, if I follow you, log 8 to be 2. Log 8 to be 2. So what is log 8 to be 2? Now we'll do it. The first thing is, what do you have at the base? 2. What can we raise to 2? And the answer will be 8. We can raise 2 to the power of 3 and we we'll have 8. I want this base and this base to be same. So if I have the two base to be the base, same thing, the answer will be 1 to that. The log of that 2 to be 2 will be 1. So I'm going to call this one. Let's, let's check can we bring 2 to this base here. If I have 2 is power 3 there, to be 2. We have 3, we have 3, but there's still 3 there. We can move that 3 away from there. For the side, if I have log a to power s to be 3, this s will come to the back. So what will happen to this? This 3 will go to the back. We have 3. Log 2 to be 2. Then it will be 3. Guys, what is log of a number to the same base? Log 2 to be 2 be equal to 1. So this 2 and this base are the same thing. So what is 2 times 3? 2 times 3 will be equal to what? 3. Each, what is 3 times 1? Sorry about that. 3 times 1 will be equal to what? 3. Now, that is the answer to that. Then yeah, number 2. Number 2. Number 2 is log 27 to be 3. The same thing. How can I make this base and this base equal what? Uh, can I raise 3 to? I'm going to be 27. In particular, I will know about the number. Then, I'm going to be 3 to the power of 3, and that will be 27. So, I'm just going to say, okay. Then, I'm going to be 27 again. Let me put 3 spots. So, I need 2 bases to be the same. 3 and 3 will be the same thing. Then, I'm going to be having 3 to the power of 3. That's 3 log 3 to be 3. That will be 3 times 1. And so, I'm going to be what? 3. See? It's very simple to see. Just raise this up to 5. But, I have to make 3. And now I'm going to write this to the computer. So this base and this thing will be the same. I look at the base are the same thing. The base are the same. The answer will be 1 to that. So 1 times this one is going to give me a final answer. That's what we are going to have there. That's what we will have there. Then, next question. Next question. Next question. Next question. Okay, we have question 2. Log oh, 7 to be 2. And what I can okay, raise to give me 7. 2 raised power 1, 2, 2 raised power 2, 4, 2 raised power 3, 8. You jump 7. There's no whole number. See, there's no whole number. If I need to know how to raise give me 7, then I'm going to apply another rule. And see if you have log A to be B, it will be log A over what? Over log B. It will be log 7 over log 2. So when you are catching a little, you look at the same value of 2, you will be having 2.8. That's what you will have for that. The next, it says number 4, if 2 raised power x is equal to 5, find x. So take note of this, you note, you note, if a raised power x is equal to, if, if a raised power x is equal to b, and therefore, x will be equal to log b over log a. That will be the answer. Take note of this. It's very important. Very, very important. So, if 2 is for x now, f is equal to 5, our x will be log 5 over log 2. Therefore, x will be equal to 2.32 from your cash flow calculator. x will be equal to 2.32. Then let's go to the next question. 
equals to 5 and equals to 5. Equals to 5 now. Equals to 5. Oh. Uh, if I have log 24 to be 6, plus 3 log 3 to be 6. Just simplify that. Let's step. Let's go. So I'm equal to I have log. I have 24 to be 6 plus this coefficient for lg that both coefficient will be the same for four can apply the other formula and log 3 to power 3 to be 6 so we now have log 24 and 24 to be 6 plus log 3 to power 3 equal to the 7 to be 6 the 7 to what to be 6 the next thing, uh, uh, let's check what we're going to have. Let's check what we're going to have. I'm going to be equal to log 24 times 27 to be 6. 24 times 27 to be 6. To be 6. Then, at the end of the day, so the we will have log 648 to be 6. So we log 648 over log 6. Now any log thing that I don't have in base, like what is log um, the b over log a. If you see any log thing on top without a base, like we'll say over log 2 now. We assume the log, we assume the base to be a base state. Log, I do the log to be in this state. Anyone that don't have any base at all. I don't have a log this one. This one is in this state, this one is in this state. You can take it to any base you like, but I'm sure the two bases will be the same thing. Oh, it's still very, very important. So you do this, I'm going to have theory on 6 from the cash flow calculator. You see, if you solve for what you think, we should solve from, so from log 6 for 8 all over log 6, you're going to be having theory on 86. So, we are going to look at a um, few examples, then we'll call it a day. So, um, you solve this one, you can solve this one, let's say question 6. You can solve this one as classwork. I think we have log 24 to be 6 plus 2 log 3 to be 6. And the answer to this one is going to be 3. So, simplify that one to see if you can get the answer. So, I simplify this. And you are going to get your theory as your answer. So let's look at another uh, question. Let's look at these questions. Then after this question, then call it day for today. So the first question I have here is find the value of log a to be said if a is equal to x1. Given that log x to be said is equal to 3 and log y to be said. Is equals to 2.2. That's the first question. So let's start this solution. We are told to look for log a to be stem. Where a is equals to x, y. So therefore, we can have log. What is a? Our a is equal to what? x, y. So instead of to use a now, so this is x, y in terms of a, we will have log x, y. So, from the rules of logarithm, if you have log x times y, we log x plus what? Log y. From 1, which you are going to have. If you have log x, y, this log x, something like this, log x, y, is it just log x times y? And that is log x plus log y. Log x plus log y. So that's uh, so not happy. Log x. What is what is the value for log x? So we have log x. So we have log x plus log y. Now, what is the value for log x? He said, if log x, you will have log x equal to 3. So for log x to be stem, is equal to 3. Then what about for log y? It said log y is equal to 2.2. So log y actually is 2.2. So 3 plus 2.2, we will have 5.2. Answer. Simple as that. The first thing you do, you say you look for this one. This is what A to be said. So what is A? That's why. So you, instead of to use A, now use X, Y. Then 
They use rules of logarithm to express this. They will have this. Log x is equal to x plus log y. Now what's log x? Log x is three. So you can see log x put three there. So put three there. The words of y two point three is log y two point three there. So let's look at this next one. Find the value of log a to the extent if log a is equal to so for this case, that's why we should look for solution. Let's look for the value of log a to be said we are a. What's the actual? We said a is equal to x squared y cube. That's the value of a. So anyway, you see a yeah? in, this, in this place now. We said we find log a to be said. What is a? A is x squared y squared. So a is actually x squared y squared. So anyway, you see a double x squared y squared to be said. So this one means x squared times y squared. That's the meaning. So if you have log x times y, you have log x times y. Or if you have log x, y, that's how we log x plus log y. Think of those are very important. Very, very important. So if you now have log x squared times log, uh, that is y squared, well, that is not here. There's a different thing there. Between the two terms. So this one also be log s squared plus log y squared. That is okay? It's because it was y cube. Sorry about that. It was y cube from the question. So we're going to have y cube. We're going to have y cube and y cube. I hope you are following the log. This is like two times here. When you see s y or s cube y cube, there's a minor times between them. So that you put it on this picture. So this is your log x squared times y, or log x squared y cube will be equal to log x squared plus log y cube. So next thing, I'm going to have these two, we're going to the value, we're going to the value of x squared, log x squared, we're going to the value of log x, we're going to the value of log y, we're going to the value of log x squared, we're going to the value of log y cube. So let's remove this two from here, remove this two from here, this is going to the value, we have two log x to be stand, then plus, Let's bring it up to the bar. We have 3 log x. That's 3 log y. To be stand. So I'm going to give us 2 times. What is log x to be stand? In this case, I'm going to say log x to be stand is 2. So we put 2 there. Then, what is log y to be stand? Log y to be stand. That's plus 3. What is actually log y to be stand? In this case, it says log y to be stand is going to be 3. We put 3 here. The next thing, 2 times 2, 4. Plus 3 times 3. 9. So 4 plus 9, 13. Answer. So log A to be uh, uh, 10 will be 13. If A is equal to S squared, Y key. And log S equal to 2, log S equals to uh, 3. So thank you all. God bless you. See you guys in our next class. Make sure you understand everything we did today because we're going to be applying these rules. Yeah, this class. So thank you all. See you guys.